atoms in your body, the nitrogen, the iron, the carbon, the, all of this are traceable to cosmic crucibles deep in the centers of stars. A physicist or cosmologist will probably point to some equations and discuss the Big Bang theory if you ask them about the origins of the cosmos. It is a scientific theory that has been refined over the years regarding how the cosmos first came into existence. However, recent James Webb Space Telescope discoveries have raised some doubts about the precise chronology. The telescope is currently returning the best resolution images of extraterrestrial phenomena that have ever been captured. These images indicate galaxies developing much earlier than was previously thought to be possible, startling scientists with new information about the universe. What has the James Webb Telescope found? And how has it changed our understanding of the Big Bang? Let's find out. We are insignificant in the vastness of the cosmos, mired in the everyday grind. We now know that these celestial wonders are made of the same atomic building blocks as us, thanks to the wonders of science and technology. We discover the mysteries of the cosmos when we gaze into the depths of time itself through our telescopes. And as we search farther back, we move closer to the far-off beginnings of our universe. The Webb Telescope has discovered mysteries that contradict everything we previously believed to be true about the early universe because of its unmatched infrared vision. Yes, the Webb Telescope's groundbreaking finding has made the universe a whole lot more puzzling. Thanks to the most recent findings from the James Webb Space Telescope, we now understand that the initial galaxies in our universe formed startlingly quickly. Is the distance between the galaxies that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is observing in the early universe truly as incredible as we believe it to be? So far, the answer is unambiguously affirmative. An astronomer at the University of Texas at Austin named Stephen Finkelstein claims that the vast majority of these galaxies are being confirmed. It implies that everything we observed over the summer, including the possibility that the cosmos was skilled at creating stars at a young age, will hold. During the summer of 2022, JWST ushered in a wave of new understandings. JWST was launched in December 2021, and after more than six months of commissioning, it turned on fully in July 2022. Soon after, its unmatched infrared sensitivity discovered the faint glows of galaxies that appeared to have originated just hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang and were thought to be from the distant cosmos. Such historic findings had been anticipated to appear more gradually by astronomers. The amount of data exploded. Because researchers employed a creative shortcut to measure galactic distances, those early results were obtained so rapidly. Astronomers typically determine cosmic coordinates by carefully measuring redshift, which is the result of the universe's expansion stretching a galaxy's light toward the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum. But to do so calls for the laborious and complex process of spectroscopy, which involves gathering and examining a galaxy's spectrum. Instead, JWST's fire hose of discovery was driven by simpler, quicker photometry-based methods that simply use observable fluctuations in galaxy brightness to infer their redshift. The spectroscopic results have only recently started to trickle in, whereas the photometric results came thick and fast last summer. However, even with only a dozen or so candidates' spectra-based distances at their disposal, researchers have already discovered that the majority of measurements agree with the first photometric findings. Four additional galaxies discovered by the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JADES, have one of the most recent distance estimates that support earlier distance estimates. One of the four, with the slightly awkward moniker JADES GSZ-130, is the farthest away. Due to its 13.2 redshift, we are viewing the galaxy as it was 320 million years after the Big Bang. The fact that the galaxy is the most distant object currently known in the universe due to its high redshift illustrates why astronomers are so excited. Webb appears poised to shatter this record again soon. We can now say with certainty that we are exploring a period of the cosmos that no human has ever seen before. It's astounding. 
says Yale University's Peter Van Dockham. He eloquently points out that this galaxy is only 300 million years older than the total period sharks have lived on Earth. However, not all high redshift candidate galaxies have been so fortunate, emphasizing astronomers' initial caution. Just 240 million years after the Big Bang, in July, Finkelstein's Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, SEERS, discovered a potential galaxy with a redshift of 16.4. Later spectroscopy has demonstrated that this deduction was incorrect, as was made clear in research headed by Pablo Arabal Haro in late March. The galaxy is actually a dusty imposter at a redshift of 4.9, or 1.2 billion years after the Big Bang, which is still spectacular, but not quite record-breaking. Early photometric analysis is likely to have been confounded by high star formation rates. The good news is that it seems that this galaxy is a unique case in particular. Two additional candidate galaxies were found to not share the issue, according to the same study. One of them is Maisie's galaxy, which was named after Finkelstein's daughter and is visible at a redshift of 11.4 or 400 million years after the Big Bang. Science can now more thoroughly examine these galaxies' ramifications now that they have been confirmed. Smaller than the Milky Way by a wide margin, these galaxies are tiny. However, some appear to be extraordinarily bright and massive and have tremendous rates of star formation comparable to that of our galaxy, which produces about one new star per year. The galaxies show galaxy formation began earlier and progressed quicker than expected in the universe, which physicists had previously projected, began churning out galaxies at the ripe age of one billion years after the Big Bang. However, they do not yet pose concerns for the leading cosmological models. Massive galaxies are expanding quicker than we had previously anticipated. Some of these young galaxies are thought to be only a few tens of millions of years old. This may have effects on the nature of dark matter particles, as well as the huge dark matter structures known as halos that shaped early galaxies. There are still several questionable, and possibly model-busting, early universe candidate galaxies. The first of these may be a group of galaxies discovered by Ivo Labe and his colleagues from Australia's Swinburne University of Technology. The scientists discovered galaxies just 750 million years after the Big Bang that were billions of solar masses in size and comparable in mass to the Milky Way. These galaxies are crammed into formations 30 times smaller than the Milky Way and are 10 to 100 times larger than galaxies previously observed in this age. They're small, but they're massive, said Laba, adding that JWS is still discovering galaxies like these pretty much anywhere it looks closely at the sky. The galaxies have only been observed through photometry up to this point. A spectroscopic study is anticipated for July. However, past JWST studies' photometric performance to date suggests Laba and his colleagues' preliminary analysis is accurate. There still seems to be a difficulty with the most extreme galaxies. Some of these systems must be producing stars at a rate that is 1,000 times faster than the Milky Way. Is that an improbably large amount of star formation? The industry is still evolving quickly. Many additional high redshift candidates are anticipated to be found thanks to the current Cosmos Web study. Scientists have been taken aback by images of brilliant galaxies with redshifts exceeding 10, which correspond to times fewer than half a billion years after the Big Bang, since the first JWS results have begun to come. The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered a brilliant galaxy that was created 400 million years after the Big Bang. The galaxy is part of a cluster that has been observed by the telescope during the past year and comes from a time period when large, brilliant galaxies are not predicted by the accepted cosmological theory. Redshift for the one reported is anticipated to be 12. This indicates that the galaxy is depicted as it appeared about 400 million years after the universe's creation. The redshift is calculated in these early phases of data analysis by photometry which is a processing of the images themselves, and may have some inaccuracies. Because of this, researchers describe these discoveries as candidate galaxies. The investigated galaxy was listed as the oldest ever spotted in a preprint with a redshift of 14, but this estimate was later revised to 12. 
The precise measurement ought to come from spectrometry, a more thorough examination of the galaxy's light. When only a small portion of the stars had formed in the first billion years following the Big Bang, it is unusual to see so many luminous galaxies. According to the conventional cosmological concept, smaller galaxies join together to generate larger ones. We anticipated finding smaller and fainter galaxies as we traveled back in time. A variety of theories are being proposed by physicists to explain the observations made by JWST. One explanation is that these galaxies are being discovered by chance at a time when their peak stellar creation, which results in great brightness, is occurring. Another explanation is that they appear brilliant because stellar winds may have cleared the area surrounding them of a great deal of dust, increasing their brightness without making them large. The few areas of the sky where these anomalous galaxies are located may have been sampled by the JWST by accident, and fewer will likely be discovered in bigger samples. The standard model would remain intact if any of these possibilities turned out to be accurate, but if the JWST discovers numerous galaxies with huge redshifts that are also extremely massive, the idea would be unsupportable. It takes a long time to begin the formation of a galaxy. You still couldn't generate such a mass in that brief amount of time. Even if you assumed that all the gas these galaxies were accreting was turned into stars, if such were the case, one explanation might include moving back the Big Bang's date. As a result, there would have been enough time since the universe's creation for such massive galaxies to develop. Additionally, the James Webb Space Telescope was hard at work again, assisting astronomers in performing groundbreaking observations from the Big Bang. This time, a team from the University of Minnesota Twin Cities claims the satellite telescope assisted them in finding an exceptionally small galaxy that is almost 13 billion years old and was created about 500 million years after the Big Bang. It's remarkable for a galaxy that small to be able to generate stars at such a high rate Yet that's what astronomers claim about this tiny galaxy. The group is hopeful that these new findings will advance knowledge of galaxies' early history of galaxy formation. The James Webb Telescope is the only one that can even remotely observe this galaxy, making these groundbreaking observations of it awe-inspiring. We have never looked at galaxies when the universe was this young in such detail, and we can see most of the way back to the Big Bang here. Despite having a volume that is around one millionth that of the Milky Way, we can see that the galaxy continues to create the same amount of stars every year. Because of JWST's immense power, it can observe an entire galaxy cluster at once. The scientists use these photographs to identify the little galaxy using a process known as gravitational lensing, which happens when mass, such as a galaxy loaded with stars, bends and magnifies light. This tiny galaxy in the backdrop was 20 times brighter than it would have been without the influence of the galaxy cluster that JWST photographed. The distance between Earth and this little galaxy was then calculated by the study's authors using spectroscopy. Astronomers may be able to learn more about the reionization of the universe by studying galaxies that are so far from Earth and billions of years closer to its creation. The galaxies we observe today in the local universe are considerably different from those that were present when the universe was just beginning. This discovery can teach us more about those early galaxies' properties, how they differ from neighboring galaxies, and how they formed. We are currently getting our first glimpse of a galaxy 12.5 billion light-years from Earth, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. According to experts, the galaxy, known as GS9209, formed some 800 million years after the Big Bang, making it the earliest galaxy ever found. The number of stars in this galaxy is comparable to that of the Milky Way, while being around 10 times smaller, and their total mass is roughly 40 billion times that of the Sun. They are thought to have formed quickly before star creation in the galaxy ceased. With no stars forming there for around half a billion years, GS9209 is the earliest known example of a galaxy no longer producing stars, known as a quiescent galaxy. Additionally, the study reveals that it has a supermassive black hole at its core that is five times bigger than what astronomers could have predicted for a galaxy with this many stars. This, according to researchers, may be the reason it ceased generating new stars. 
massive amounts of high-energy radiation are released during the formation of supermassive black holes, which can burn up galaxies and force the gas out of them. As stars originate when clouds of dust and gas inside galaxies collapse under their own weight, this may have stopped star formation in the galaxy. Karina Caputi, a PhD candidate at the University of Edinburgh, originally identified GS9209 in 2004, while under the guidance of professors Jim Dunlop and Ross McClure at the School of Physics and Astronomy. At the University of Groningen in the Netherlands, Caputi is currently a professor. Galaxies were expanding earlier and larger than we had previously believed during the first billion years of cosmic history, according to evidence from the James Webb Space Telescope. This research provides the first in-depth examination of the characteristics of these young galaxies by tracing the development of the galaxy, which formed as many stars as the Milky Way in just 800 million years after the Big Bang. It was a major surprise to find a massive black hole in this galaxy, which supports the theory that supermassive black holes are what prevent star formation in young galaxies. When we thought the situation couldn't possibly be any more confusing, Webb comes up with another. Yes, astronomers have recently made a groundbreaking discovery, a little galaxy that is a star-forming powerhouse. The galaxy is rapidly producing stars, having formed only 500 to 550 million years after the Big Bang. The astronomers who made this discovery are perplexed. How is it possible for a galaxy this small to create stars at a rate that defies reason? It's a puzzling conundrum that threatens to challenge everything we believe to be true about the origins of the cosmos. What is this enigmatic thing? A galaxy or something completely different? It's too big to be a star cluster, as some experts have speculated. Our standard universe model, which has done a great job of explaining the universe, does not account for these anomalies. Is it possible that the physical rules were different before the beginning of the universe? Or is our knowledge of science still lacking? One hypothesis is that these enormous and brilliant early galaxies were created as a result of an unidentified mechanism that accelerated star formation. Another idea is that large galaxies formed as a result of black holes that expanded quickly. How, therefore, could the black holes expand so rapidly? Astronomers will likely continue to speculate about the mysteries of the early cosmos until the solutions to these questions are discovered. It is astonishing that Nobel laureate Roger Penrose thinks that black holes from an earlier world that was already massive may have accelerated the expansion of our cosmos. Penrose has seen bright patches in the CMB that might be radiation from old black holes that existed before our universe and the Webb Telescope's most recent findings are strengthening his cyclic universe idea. It is still unclear if the expansion following the Big Bang was actually sped up by black holes from the prior universe, or whether there were other, as yet undiscovered, mechanisms. No hypothesis so far has been able to properly explain the erratic behavior of the early galaxies following the Great Bang. It's time to think about alternate universe creation hypotheses to explain the early stages. At this point, the typical model appears to be at a loss. The cyclic universe theory postulates an endless chain of universes connecting to one another. Therefore, if it is true that black holes from a previous world did, in fact, quicken the early universe's expansion, then we will never be able to trace the universe's origins. There are alternative creation ideas to the Big Bang theory, including the black hole universe, the multiverse, and the static world. It is astounding that the James Webb Space Telescope can view so far into the cosmos. We can now observe objects that were previously inaccessible to telescopes. In essence, it provides a glimpse of the early 500 million years of the cosmos. Astronomers are now achieving their long-held aim of getting their first certain peaks into a period of the universe that has never been examined. Who knows how far we will be able to see? Maybe galaxy creation began 180 million years after the Big Bang, at a redshift of 20, a period that was difficult to comprehend until JWST. But if the telescope has taught us anything, it's to prepare for the unexpected. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.